Well, welcome, gentlemen. Today we're speaking with not only one, but two legendary metal bassists, Frank Bellow of Anthrax and John DeServio of Black Woo-hoo! Society. To talk about the Italiana, Paisana, Frankie! Oh, que fa, que fa! Que fa, To talk about their upcoming North American uh, summer tour. So, welcome, guys, and thank you. Thank you. Thanks thank for you having us. Hey, yeah. I'm glad I got the name right that time. So, thank you. I pronounced it right. Yeah, a couple of times. Don't right? worry, you're good. Yeah. Three times. <laughs> Third time's a charm, right? Yeah, so that's all right. My girlfriend don't even know my name. Don't worry about it. <laughs> JD's right. easy. JD's easy. JD, yeah. I should, have just, I should have just stuck with JD, but I wanted to do the <laughs> uh Frank, we've you know, we've spoken several times most recently. Sure. So it's a pleasure to speak with you again. Uh JD, this is first thank time you. we're chatting, so thank you for joining. Oh, thank you for having me, brother. Yeah, so we have a lot to cover and uh, let's start with the yeah. tour. What a perfect match. Black Label yeah, yeah, and uh, Anthrax touring together. How come it's never happened? I don't well, you know, we've done shows before on, on yeah. different shows, but you know, it's so funny, JD, because we're friends forever, right? Right. I, I mean, we all bands have been friends forever. God, it's it, it just seems like that's one of the things that never happened. It, it makes total sense. I know. Until now, I don't know why, because I think we're two hardworking bands. Right. We're always, always on different tours. Yeah, and yeah. Lined up, but it's weird because I'm it's it makes sense. Why didn't this happen? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but now, it, and I'll tell you something, I'm kind of psyched that it never happened because now it's a special thing. And you have totally. to understand this right off the bat. I'm looking forward to this as a hangout with my friends. It's going to be a totally. great package. But there's yeah. a lot of good people on this tour that you could it's actually amazing. like hang and have great com- – it's just a great – it's a great Paisan kind of vibe. Yeah. and It's going to be a lot of fun. All around. Hey, breed of good people. All that, you know. Great. So it's a great package. I'm looking forward to – because we haven't been out, you know, JD. You guys have been out. We no. haven't even been on tour. No, no. I know. We saw you in uh, Sturgis. Yeah, remember, and that was one the one off one of the one off shows we played. Right. And it's so weird to play the show and not go to the bus and have another show the next day. You know what I mean? No, I know that was crazy. And it's weird. We're going into yeah. that now, so I'm finding yeah. it weird. But at least it's comfortable because at least we know the people we're with, and that makes it a lot more oh. easier. You know. Totally. I mean, well, we love you guys, you know, and, and like you said, we've been buddies forever yeah. and we've done some shows together, some festival things, yeah. but to go out for a whole month is going to be sick, man. It's great. It's great. Yeah. And the, the jokes a lot of and the ball box. busting. Can you imagine yeah. the ball busting on this tour? The, the amount of just complete nonstop. Well, I love it. That's I'm going to have a videotape just for that. <laughs> we should have you our can, own you can write a book on this tour. Dude, That'd you could have great. some very, very funny. Uh, if you uh, if there was a oh, fly yeah. on the wall with the camera. Just getting some of the conversation, just hanging out. All you got to do is put it, on, put it on his singer. Put it on his guitar player. That, that's all you got to do. Leave it on him, and we'll just do exactly. it. <laughs> totally. Um, you know, what's, what's also really interesting about this tour is that it's the resurgence of superior writing in both bands that are coming together at the perfect time. Anthrax with the last two, and BLS with Doom Crew Inc. You know, I mean, yeah. in my humble yeah. opinion, those are the best, and my, or I guess my favorite, I should probably say, my fav- personal favorite CDs of yours. There's no filler on any of those albums. So your, your best days are not behind you. You're living them right now. That's, wow. It's, yeah, I, I, look, I, I love nothing more than the guys that have been doing it for so long. These guys have been doing it forever, too. It's It feels good that it, people are, are listening. Come on, man. The, the yeah. People are listening to, to music, and that's important because you don't just do a record. We don't just do a record, right, J.D., to, to, no. to, to do it. We, we, we live these albums. We, we yeah, live right. these songs. You can't just throw out yeah. shit. You got to make sure it's the right one. So they just did with this last record. I, and I think we've done it. So I, I think it's important to keep it up and to keep yeah. us excited too, you know? Totally. I mean, we keep throwing out bullshit, but this one I think seems less worse than the other ones. You know what I mean? It's, it's a little <laughs> less sucky. So, no, you know, I mean, we're getting a, a little one. better, I guess, after 20 something years. It still sucks, but not as bad. <laughs> More people are tolerating it, and I'm happy about that. <laughs> no, I think that's both, what we got. All yeah. three of them are great albums, and I yeah. love them. Should be told, they're a great band. They are a great band, and it's Thank just you. an extra special thing, which is which is great to do. You know, it's fun for me. You got to realize, I get free shows every night. I like to watch right. my friends, yeah. Rally, you without, know, yeah, without rise that. up. I love that. We're lucky enough to do that. We can watch each other's bands oh. and just watch the crowd and watch them and the different shit they do, and just. 
it's it's one of the pleasures of being on tour and being in a band. You can watch other great bands do their thing. And I think I I, I really love doing that. And I really uh, I've learned like I'm really fortunate to watch just because we, we we're in this business. We we get right. we're able to watch these musicians do this great thing. It's, it's and awesome. think about all the friends we've made. Yeah. Through this shit. I mean, every band we've been out with, we've become like, you know, family with. And, you if you know, and this about, would be no different. I mean, we're already family already. You know, yeah, it's totally you know, it's everybody knows everybody, you know, and that's what's weird. If you think about it, JD, in other businesses, you don't have this. You don't no. have this. If you work in, in a job for 30, 40 years, right? You don't right. have friends. You stay forever. We, like, we're all friends forever. And all the bands we've toured with. Yes. We, we, it's great to see each other. Like you haven't missed them like a moment. It just catches up right away. It's yeah, great. we can't wait to see you know hate breed I, Wayne. I mean, come on, oh, God, Everybody they're all they're all great. They're all fun guys, and the, you know what's great is a bunch of fun guys on a yeah. great package of but that's good for for fans. So it, everybody oh, wins. Great. Everybody wins in this. I course. agree. I, I disagree, yeah. Bill. Yeah. You know what's interesting too is that um, you guys are co-headlining. So it's like, yeah. is there a friendly competition to blow each other off the stage? No, or? I want to see. I want to see them do great. I want to see. I want the look. Yeah. Here's who wins. Honestly, the fans. Been, everybody's been through a lot of shit with this COVID nonsense, right? Everybody's totally. been through it. We've been tight, locked in forever. I, I can't wait to tour again. Like, I, have, I saw a tour bus on one of our shows, day, JD, one of the one-offs. I said, what yeah, is yeah. that? Imagine yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but you check this just... out, Frankie. You know what's fucked up? We don't even have a bus here. What? We what don't do have do? a tour bus in Europe, dude. We are flying. Like in South America, that's what we're doing here. Holy shit. Really? No. It's pretty is it's it insane. weird? So you it's, fly gig to gig? You know what? Me and Zach like it. <laughs> I, I mean, can't the crew, imagine, I can't imagine those conversations. Yeah, oh, it's fucking great. But anyway, well, we like it because we get a room every night, right? That's so great. you're not on a bus every night. You get your own bathroom every night, which is I great. You know, oh. going to, you know, whatever. You're oh, dude, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, I know uh, exactly what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I got to release some tension. You know what I mean? Every night. So anyway, uh, so that's been cool. And the schedule, they made it so it's actually not so grueling. Like yeah. we fly into a day off. Great. Great, man. Yeah. Except, I mean, this last one, we just did four in a row. And that was a little rough. Go but on. now it's, it's smooth sailing. And but let me, like I said, we get a room every night. And that's that's pretty awesome. That, that's a big I'm, deal. Yeah. It's yeah. Better totally. than the tour bus. Oh, way better than the tour bus. <laughs> yeah, the bus people, is awesome. Yeah, for people that don't understand that the touring life is, look, say you have a bad gut one night and you yeah. got to get on that tour bus, right? Oh. And not, not to sound disgusting, JD, we know. We oh, yeah, yeah. You got to make yeah, the bus driver stop. Oh, it's, yeah. sometimes it's no bad. a bag of catfish. Oh, dude. But no. if you're sick, it ain't a catfish. It's like, you know, <laughs> it's like the swamp that he swims in. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's pretty brutal. But um, so this is great. I ain't got a bag shit over here. It's pretty awesome. No oh, pun intended. I ain't got a bag shit. <laughs> Literally. Literally, oh I got my own toilet. It's great. The plumbing's been good here. I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. You know? It's great. And we're thinking about maybe doing this, you know, from now on. I yeah. mean, our crew don't want to do it. Of they course. freaking hate it. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. It, it, it is. For them, it really blows. You carry yeah. all that stuff every day, pack it onto the plane, right? It's crazy. No, 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 no. No, we have a truck. Oh, so the truck goes and you, the, the band truck, and crew fly. But unfortunately, sometimes the crew just has to go right from the airport to the gig. Oh, I know. That's rough. And, then, so and then we'd laugh at them, <laughs> you know, gig, <laughs> and, then go, and then see you later. You know oh. what I mean? <laughs> no, I'm sure I'm they only, like that. We, I'm only totally kidding. We don't fucking <laughs> ever do that. You know? But that sucks for them. So, of you course, know, I man. get it why they would want the bus. And, yeah, and you know, Frank, you over here, the Europe buses are great. The double yeah. deckers. The double deckers. Plenty of room. You know, you get away from Zach for five minutes if you can, you know. They'll follow me everywhere I go, but you know what I mean? A, a little more. This is a little better. I like this. So I, I like the bus. I love the bus to, to go on to, you know, except for those nights yeah. where you maybe ate some bad catering, right? I'm serious, man. And the, that's yeah. what happens. The road life is like that. And look, I yeah. haven't had the best stomach throughout my life anyway. So uh, no. it's a big deal when there's a home yeah. bowl advantage. It's, yeah. it's a big part of touring. Home bowl, I'm telling you, if I could take my tarot with me, I'd be I'd be much happier. Right? <laughs> Dude, That's the hardest part of touring, right? Not having your own toilet. 
Oh, yeah, dude, why we should go on Shark that? Tank and invent something, go on Shark Tank and make some money, dude. What are we doing? We, we know what we need. Shark Tank with a toilet tank. Yeah. We can do it. <laughs> hey, it it's right in your bunk. <laughs> I, I have a question for both of you guys now. Um, you know, I've, I play guitar, but I've always felt the most important role in a band, too, is the bassist. Because he's the, be right. <laughs> the drums. What? He's, he's the ambassador between the drums and the guitar, you know, and it's the back. They're paying you, band. And without it, it'd be super thin. Um, what it is about bass that, that each of you feel you bring to um, a recording or a live performance? JD, take this one first. Uh, <laughs> well, we bring we bring way more fatness, you know, way more coolness. We fill up all their, you know, there's their skinny little things that they do, you know. Their mistakes. Yeah, their mistakes. <laughs> we covered them all. You know what's funny? Everybody hates us, right? Or doesn't even acknowledge us until the bass goes down. <laughs> then they're like, oh my God, we sound like shit. We suck. Well, yeah, you do. <laughs> you know, if it wasn't for us pulling you guys together, you, you had not. You got nothing. You got anyway, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you got oh. nothing. So anyway, <laughs> well, now we first, you know, and we're usually the coolest people in the band. I mean, really. yeah, we, we are friendly. We, we are the most friendly, friendly yeah. most nights. Nice. Yeah. I, no I, ego. I, we don't care. Yeah, at the end of the day, look, um, we're, we're the missing missing part that you need. But like he said, when they drop out, they look for us, right? <laughs> they, they need us all of a sudden, right? When, when you know, yeah, yeah. when we show up, ah, yeah. oh, everything feels better. Everybody's yeah, uh, yeah. And now it's right. So we're the yeah. missing part that if you didn't have us with a piece, piece of puzzle, and yeah. look, let's be honest, you need us. You need us for the uh, the vibe of the song, the groove of the definitely, song. Definitely, definitely. I mean, it's it's amazing how. Really, what, how when we drop out, how empty the, the whole band is. I mean, we're at the whole bottom. We're the whole foundation, you know? They can't build a house without us, you know? Exactly. Founda a foundation is probably the best. But I, I, yeah. um, look, I'm, I'm loving bass more than I've ever loved. I don't know if you guys have ever seen J.D. play. He's an incredible. And I'm not just saying, J., you know I know that. You know I believe this. We've been oh, together right. quite a lot, jamming, and you, yeah. you're an incredible bass player. You truly oh, are. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah. Well, Frank, you were one of my heroes forever. Uh, you're, it's you're, a suck fest right now, but anyway, yeah, it's a suck fest. We're gonna, but no, people should know that. People should know how great this. You watch, you sit I down see. with the bass with JD and watch him go, man. It's incredible. I'm not even joking. I saw him in at the Wellmont Theater, um, uh, last uh, November. Oh, yeah. great job! Oh, really? Yeah, oh, shit. You're in Jersey. I'm in Jersey, Bridgewater. Oh, that's right. Oh, oh, dude, I used to play hockey in Bridgewater. Oh, at the rink. Yeah. My daughter used to skate there. Now they've kind of like limited skating ability. Chimney yeah. Rock. Yes. Yes. And the totally, pizza. man. Yeah, I had a blast there. Yeah. And the pizza parlor, Jimmy Rock Pizza. Uh, yeah. Well, we have great pizza in Jersey. We got yeah. it. We do. We do. I married a Jersey girl. I know all about it. So I'm right, you know, uh, great. I know the whole thing. Yeah. JD, That's where are you now? I'm in Barcelona in a, a hotel. No, where are you living? Where are you living? Oh, <laughs> in this hotel in Barcelona. <laughs> on the road. Uh, yeah, the streets smell like piss. I love it. Uh, I'm very happy here. <laughs> Uh, no, I live. I live in Jersey, man. Um, yeah. I live in Old Bridge. Okay. I live not far from Starland, actually, Frank. Okay, yeah, I know. Uh, I'm right on the water, though. I mean, I got the Raritan Bay, so I see Manhattan, uh, nice. Staten Island. It's great. Where I live, it's awesome. Uh, I know my father and his brothers built the house I grew up in. Oh, great! Right? But then I rebuilt it, you know, like ten years ago, and went up a level, and she's like, see the water and everything. So my neighbors know me forever and I have a studio in the basement. I jam all night. Nobody calls the cops. You know, great, it's, it's, it's great. And every it's safe neighborhood. Mm. Keep my keys in the car. I mean, well, not really. No, no, I don't, I don't, don't you. tell anybody. Yeah, nobody heard that. Nobody heard I don't that. Keep no. in the car, nothing, I keep a Roddy in the car. Right, right, right. <laughs> and, uh, and I don't lock the doors to my house. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. But um, I always like that on the news. Whenever somebody was murdered in the house, like, we never locked the doors in our neighborhood. I haven't locked the doors in 20 years. Like, I got the yeah. alarm, I got the door locks, I got, I got the outdoor video. I don't care. Yeah, right. No, no, actually, now I do have the cameras and everything. So, you know, I'm hip now. Yeah, we, we got to be. But yeah, it's great. They, where I where we live in, in uh, you know, Jersey, New York. Where you live? You're in New York still, right? I'm in yeah. Westchester, yeah. 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 I mean, look, you love it. I don't love it. Um, because the taxes, as you know, oh, are insane. Well, we talked here. about this years ago. Yeah, we talked about that. And then, now imagine that all these years later. So when he's out of school, I'm probably going to move. He's, he's my, my kid's got two more years in school. And then wherever yeah. he wants to go to college, we'll move there. I don't care. We're, yeah, uh, because we're thinking that, of moving too. We're, we're going to downsize too because uh, she's my daughter's going to college and we don't need this house, nor to pay the taxes. 
Yeah, it's just look at the, look at the, house, look at the house he's living in. I think we're doing the wrong thing. Yeah, we're, we're <laughs> in the wrong. We should be interviewing because look at his house. I I got, I'm in, in my basement right now. <laughs> yeah. No, there's no money in there's no money in interviews. Trust me. I, can, I, can agree. <laughs> I don't know what else you're doing, but whatever it is, I want in. Yeah. Uh, really. Need any investors? Pharmaceutical marketing. Oh, that's where the money is. That's Super where the money marketing? is. Super marketing. Super marketing. <laughs> I do that all the time when I'm home. I don't <laughs> shit for it. That, Pharmaceuticals, whatever. that's where it's at, dude. Oof. Yeah. yeah. It's good, it was. It's a good career. It's a good career. So I'm, I'm thrilled with that. I could have went into the guitar playing, but I was never that good as you guys or even close. You're lucky. <laughs> yeah. more of a cover. I was more of a, you know, I could do like Iron Maiden. I could do Judas Priest, but that was about the extent, you know? Now it's take it to a whole nother level. Um, yeah. It's right still on. it's still fun. I mean, I, I think I think it's important for you to just to keep playing anyway. I, I, I see it's all my friends, too. You, you got to have that fire, you know, to keep playing. Just yeah. grab your guitar. You have guitars in the background. I see yeah. it, you yeah. know? Yep. It's important to keep playing, I think. Definitely, man. Hey, you guys were talking about this earlier on. Um, some crazy pranks and some shit that's going to go on this tour. What's the craziest prank that you pulled on somebody while on tour? He's got um, a million. Let me tell I want to hear some of his. I got one. But I, I want to hear JD because they, they, uh, they're not stop these guys. Yeah, they're not really. Well, I mean, we're not really that much of pranksters. Zach's no, really not that come much on. of a prankster. I mean, we, we've had some, pr I mean, I have some pranks in my old times, but I don't know if I can really even tell them. They're kind of nasty and shitty. I don't really want to tell them. Worse than crapping, <laughs> in, worse than crapping nope. in a plastic bag? Well, I mean, I took a shit, I took a shit on my tour manager's doorstep. I mean, is <laughs> so that was pretty funny. But at first we took, all right, I'll tell you the story, fuck it, it's out there. All right, I was playing with uh, Jody Bon Jovi, right? And Brian Tishy was our drummer. Right. So Brian's all fucking all, you know, he's all amped up and shit. And he ate these nachos earlier. Right. <laughs> so I said, I'm going to fuck with him. Right. So I go outside and I take his shit and I put it in the box of nachos. Right. <gasps> so Brian comes in the bus and he's all like, yeah, yeah. He's all like fucking all up and shit. You know, like, I'm like, yeah, Brian, here, have your nachos, have your nachos. Hand it in the box. It's like he keeps hitting the box. And I'm like, yeah, eat some. And he opens <laughs> it up and goes, oh, fuck. So anyway. We were all mad because we were in the bus and the tour manager was the only one who had a room. So we said, fuck him. So we took the, the took the turd and put it right on his doors, <laughs> on his on his welcome mat. <laughs> <laughs> so when he stepped in my shit, I mean that was pretty awesome. So he went, he, he stepped in it. Awesome. I, I, I'm, I'm speculating. I really don't know. I didn't have I wasn't there, but I, I'm assuming he did. I hope he did. And uh, but that, that's about that's about it. How about you, Frankie? <laughs> what, what do you got, Frank? My favorite anthrax used to hit, look in the eighties, all through the eighties, we used to do these things called pirate attacks. Pirate attacks, where okay. whoever came on the crew on the tour with us, some of the crew guys, where um, one of the crew guys would have a girl in their room per se, I mean, per se. Yeah, we we <laughs> we fill up buckets of cold water. Yeah, get flour eggs everything oh. get the key downstairs they, they're in motion right <laughs> all of a sudden, we're, we're coming in there's a cake being baked all of a sudden because it's <laughs> everywhere man it's all over the place but I, awesome. I tell you that that happened frequently the, the, just pirate attacks people that even weren't getting laid were just getting pirate attacked while they were sleeping <laughs> it was great but That's aside great. my favorite all-time prank that anthrax has ever uh, uh done on anybody was remember the clash of the titans tour yeah uh anthrax slayer megadeth Okay. Um, the last night of that tour, uh, we we were all friends, and we're all friends with everybody in, in those bands. So it's great we could all all do this. <laughs> One thing we did, we wanted to make Tom Araya laugh during the show because you know it was Slayer and Tom didn't really smile in those days. You know, it was uh, mainly uh, the face straight out, right? So yeah. we hung this. Um, we got the biggest fish we could find, the biggest right. fucking fish. There's pictures of this and video somewhere. Uh, and during the last song, it might have been Rain and Blood. This thing comes down. I mean, hits the microphone. It's right in front of Tom. It slowly comes down right in front of fucking Tom. It was the best. In front. Of, so he just fucking broke up, man. We were all on the side of the stage dying. Just imagine That's that awesome. intense moment, Rain and Blood. It's great, dude. It was awesome. One of my favorite times ever on tour because we all still laugh about it. You know, we yeah, those guys. Nah, that's they're great. Awesome. That's a great story. Great. I, I only have a couple of minutes with you guys, so I want to just ask a couple of questions for um, the live stream, Frank. Um, you guys sound so tight. Um, was there a lot of rehearsal for that live stream that's coming out? 
if you know anthrax <laughs> jd you probably like this too you know our bands we, we just don't rehearse no. if you don't know the songs by now <laughs> yeah right <laughs> you know I, mean? um, I think I think we get off by challenging ourselves and just jumping in because even on this tour JD we're going to start Anthrax I think we have pre-production but I don't know how much playing is going to be done I right, think it's right. about getting used to staging and shit for the shows yeah but, I mean do I need to play I mean does anybody need to play the same song you've been playing for 30 years you know no. you kind of know really, it you know what sound arrogant you know yeah no no mostly when we get together it's really for the crew it is. It's so they it can is. get their shit together, knowing the tunings are coming up, what guitars they got to hand you, whatever. Exactly. You know yeah. what I mean? Like for for the upcoming run, well, I, we're actually going to change our set list a little bit. So yeah, we are too. We are. We're going to rehearse for two days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. We got to rehearse some songs. That's right. We have new songs coming in. You're right. So we are going to rehearse. Yes. I and stand the, corrected on that. And the management's like, "What? You need <laughs> two days? Like." What? Yeah, two. That's you know they're like, oh my god, we thought you needed one. <laughs> Prepo costs money, man. Prepo those days cost you. money. Everybody's got to be there and get paid, right? Time is Crew, money. Everything, lights, all that oh, stuff. Yeah. yeah. So so like I said, yeah, we're gonna rehearse for two days and and that's it. It's been uh, it's been pretty pretty grueling. I mean, we we rocked out for <clears throat> what was it? I don't you know do you, I can't even remember where I've been, Frank. Yeah, it's insane, dude. It's We've probably been better that way for a month. Before that, we were out on tour. Uh, I don't even remember. <laughs> well, you did the you did the states run too, right? Yes, you did a states run, yeah, and then you, the and now you're on Europe. Now you're in Europe. Oh, Europe. oh, I know why because it got all interrupted because Zach got sick. We got all it was all interrupted. That's right. Why I barely remember. Nita Strauss was playing with us, opening up. Cool. She plays guitar for Alice Cooper. Yeah, she's yeah. awesome. Yeah, she's awesome. Sweetheart, yeah. you know, and uh, Jared James Nichols, this guitar player, and blues dude. He was great too, and uh, we did a, a run with them almost like it was supposed to be a month, but it got a little shortened because of, you know sickness and all that. Right. And then we came right out here, and we go home for uh, what is it? Oh well, in July we go home for two weeks, and we fly back here. Really? For one date. Oh. In France. Festival. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> one one gig. Yeah. Then we fly back to the states for incarceration. Wow. Dude. And then five days later, we're in rehearsal for the Anthrax rock. Wow. So well, you're busy boys. well I look at it this way. We've all been off for quite a long time, right? Yeah. So, yeah. It, like, I can't wait to get the juices flowing. Like, J.D., you just went through this. Yeah. Just take that step into the water again, you know? It's it's, it's these one-off shows yeah. aren't doing enough. You you want more. So I can't yeah. get I can't wait to get in the rhythm, you know, the rhythm of it all. That's oh. what I want to get into. Yeah. yeah. And, and we love it, you know? And it's, yeah. it's really like home. You know, this is what like we a, do. A home feeling, you know. And and thank God, thank God, the fans have stayed with us for all of our yeah. bands, and really that people want to see live music, and it's important. Thank 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 yeah. everybody out there. Sincerely. Yeah, we thank God every day, yeah, brother. Really, because, because it's really, it's really without them, them, for them, we don't have a job. Exactly. I'm gonna, <laughs> without them, so we're very thankful for that. I'm going to yeah. be at the Philly show. I'll be at the last show of the tour, so I'm going to be at the Philly show. Oh, cool. so, oh, that's my birthday. Oh, is cool. it? Cool. Yeah. Oh, he's 29 this year. I'm 29. Presents are welcome. I don't. I'm not one of those that like you know yeah. frowns on that shit. Read me whatever you got. Bring right to the front of the stage for JD. It's all good. Right for the cool. front. Cakes. I'll be. Uh, I'll be there puddings. taking pictures. I'll be there taking pictures and reviewing the show. So I'll be. I'll give you the high five. <laughs> give me a good review for my birthday. I will. Of course, of course. JD was great tonight. That's the first line. JD That's was great tonight. The bass player. Mention the bass players in uh, my in the review. That's I will, and I'm going to quote you guys from this. So yeah. That's One last present. question. I want to get it in. Frank, um, what's the status of the Anthrax album? Um, I'm not supposed to talk about it. <laughs> oh, okay. No, the here's the deal. The, uh, hey, no. There will be an Anthrax record sometime. I, I can't tell you when. Um, there will be an Anthrax record. And that's uh, Heidi, my publicist, our Anthrax's publicist. Yeah. Right before this interview, she told me, do not talk about the Anthrax record. <laughs> I'm Ooh, like, enough. okay. I don't know why, but I'm just following what she told me to do but right, there will right. be an anthrax record though and it's it's heavy and, and it's not done yet and you got a solo ep coming out right i do i've had these i wrote a book um a while back yeah and um these songs came out of it and it's about abandonment and stuff like that a lot of inner anger stuff and uh and i've done side stuff with uh, altitudes and attitude with uh, dave ellison before so it's like the continuation of that this is just by myself and i, I, had, I had a bunch of songs so i put three of them and on this ep and you played everything on it, right? Except for the I drums. did. I, we used a, a studio cap for the drumming because I'm right. not. I suck at drums. But um, 
but yeah. everything else, yeah. I mean, because I was it was easy. You know, yeah, I just had it all done already. So right, it, it was it one two three. It's it's yeah. not a big deal. They, you know, and um, so I just got a studio drummer with a great producer, um, uh -huh. and uh, we worked it out really easily. So right, nice. what'd you do it back home or did you do it? LA? I did it. Yeah, I did it home in the New York New yeah. York City. So, yeah. and it was just easy, you know, it, it's really, it's, it's, it's an angrier edge of rock. It's not metal, not metal at all. And there's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with that. It's just, uh, it's more of the, the stuff that just came out and it's, it's more of a, people like the altitudes and attitude. This is like the continuation, maybe just a little bit angrier than that, but. It's not coming right. out until November, right? You got a little. November, <clears throat> yeah, it's through Rare Bird, my book, my book publisher. What happened was he heard the songs of my publisher. And he, he he bought them he bought them from my record company which is cool because he was so into them wow so um uh, and uh, he wanted to put them out so we, he he announced them the other day which is great and I'm really excited about it and look why Sweet. not you know it's another thing we have, Anthrax doesn't have anything out till next year so it's right. all good and and uh, this is the stuff I do okay great awesome well, guys That's I want to thank book. you I want to thank you for your time today it was a fascinating you, as usual it was most fun. It's the most fun I've had it in a long time on an interview. This is hilarious. And it was yeah, I mean, look who, look who we're with, JD. I mean, we have fun together. So you can imagine yeah. the tour. So, I mean, I'm sure you didn't uh, get a lot of questions in because we could babble a lot. That's what we no, do. Yeah. Exactly. But um, I, I, we had a blast. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, JD. Thank you, Frank. It was really My awesome. pleasure, man. Thank you. Thanks for getting my guys. name right. I appreciate that, brother. <laughs> I will, my gonna, family thanks you. <laughs> I'm going to have it right in the review, too. And <laughs> Remember, I'm, Ita I'm all Italian, so, you know, just be careful there. <laughs> <laughs> My wife is yelling at me now. She's Italian too. She's like, you should have said his name right. <laughs> so you gotta get it right. <laughs> well, listen, thank you so much, guys. It was really right. fun. Thank Take you care of yourself. All right, have awesome. a good one. Bye-bye. Right, love you, buddy. See you in a bit.